Hello out there, and get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Miles Turner. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for the Lakers, an old school feel to this one, Clark. Two excellent centers will be going at it. Feels like we may be going back the first 65 or 70 years of the NBA, B.A. I mean, we've become a three-ball dominant league in terms of style of play. Tonight, you'll see what basketball used to be, a game dominated by the centers. Not exactly how you want to dive into the game. Picks up his first foul right off the bat. And look at those moves in the post. And the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Left his man lunging and reaching for air. That was something else right there. First team foul. That's the line to the away team. The dunk. What athleticism from Turner. My goodness. He loves getting chances to throw it down like that. Here's the three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Boy, clearly embracing the game with his whole heart there. Love showing up for the team and just playing the game. To the middle. an open look and hits it. Working it to the open teammate that time. Excellent awareness from Davis. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Yes, it's good. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Now Los Angeles with it. Four-point game. Despite playing in different conferences, it's been a contentious rivalry. These teams share plenty of history. They really do. I mean, whenever they play each other, it means a little bit extra. These are two franchises, as you said, that certainly have had their fair share of tangles in the pack. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. To the paint. Uses the glass on the layup. The plan coming in is working. They're perfect five for five from the floor. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four. Off to a nice start. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Four, three. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. The Bulls have gone five of five in this quarter. Solid. Tipped. The three ball. And he buries his first look. Knocking down their first six shots. What an offensive start for this team. The Lakers trail. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three to fall. Five points in the game. <laughs> That's how you up the ante come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And the ball out of play. Lakers will have it. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You look at the Bulls, and they've got the top spot in the conference. A testament to their hard work all year long. Checking out the Bulls, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. It appears to me, though, that this group has all the ingredients for a special season. 
Let's it fly. And the Lakers tack on two more. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Pass to Clutch. Five to shoot. Fades. That one goes in. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Now here's Davis. He came away with 14 points in his last game. Now Turner. Out left to the wing. Parked it down low that time. Three. Got hit with the three-second call. And while we have a chance, the 2K leaderboard showing the NBA's best when it comes to steals. Fifth on the list, the Bulls. This team will punish you for sloppy ball control, no question. They've got a lot of fast-handed guys just waiting to take advantage. Lewis has checked in for Los Angeles. it down with a two-handed jam what a finish I mean he just took over himself what a show of power right there from the point guard man sweet and you know guys when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team offline from the top of the key Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. Steps back. Drops in the layup for two. Outstanding distribution there, I mean. What impressive passing ability. The Bulls have gotten all eight shots to go. They are red hot. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Young season, young talent, Grant. What do you look for to identify an up-and-coming team with a chance to be special? Well, B.A., obviously, you have to start with talent. But then it's fit, it's identity, it's personality. I mean, all of those ingredients matter in becoming a top team. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. There's a minute 26 left to play in the first. Pachemski and blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. And there's the lob, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Puts up a three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. He's got 13. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. At some point defensively, you have to take something away. First team ball. Substitution for your Lakers. And the Lakers with possession here. Trailing by 10. And he banks in the layup. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. 29 seconds left now in the first quarter. Pass to LaFriends. Nails it with a hand in his face. LaFriends has got his third bucket of the night. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. It's tipped. Oh, it's stolen. 
Fires for three. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Leading by 10. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. 28. To take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Shots blocked! Oh, swiped away! And for the Bulls... Pass to Peterson. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here he goes. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. They set the screen. Pajimski. Najee set to screen. Pulls up. Pajimski's shot is good. Pajimski's got his second basket. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. And he bangs it home with one hand. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Plenty of daylight on that shot. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. To the wing, right side. Now the Lakers moving it up. Here's Peterson. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. That'll definitely steal away some momentum. Stripping them of the ball and then grabbing the bucket. Boom! He jams it straight down. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean... That's no way to defend a player of his caliber. And the Lakers call time here. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Sinks it from distance. Ten points for him. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Shoots. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. And the Bulls lead by nine. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. To the right side, from the arc. Hickson. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. Consider my doubts disappear. Second team. Substitution for your Lakers. Anthony. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played.
Five on the clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. The shot's good. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Puts it up. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's the friends. Checked by Davis. It's good. The friends has got 11. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, these hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Davis, that's good. Davis has gotten his second bucket of the game. Boy, liking the shot selection by Davis there. I mean, just really smart basketball. Take what the defense gives you. Pass to Clutch. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Clutch has gotten his second bucket on the night. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. The Lakers call timeout. And as the coaches draw of games, when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. The Lakers making a switch here. Lewis has checked in. The Bulls have gotten all eight shots to go. A perfect second quarter so far. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180. Once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20, he now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do and that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. Yeah. Well, it didn't happen yet, Alec. We'll see. And the ball out of play. Lakers will have it. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Los Angeles has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. One sixteen left in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. Again, the Lakers. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. That's tipped. Forty-four seconds left to play in the second quarter. Yep, that one goes. Six points for him. Got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Bulls lead by seven. Picking up a second foul here. Has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the half. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. At the line for Los Angeles. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. the block man the defense of Turner is astounding I mean he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks here's Lewis he got a piece of it he got it up oh and the release was before the buzzer but it's off target and so a close game as we wrap US men's national team
you've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. And for the Bulls... Here's Clutch. Down to five on the shot clock. Who poked away. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. So he gets them both. Los Angeles has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. Second half, getting started. About a minute play. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And that one is stuffed right through. B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Now, I can't fault the guy for adding a little flavor to things. I'm fine even if he'd have missed it. I don't mind taking a chance to spruce it up a little bit. And it's LaFrance with a rebound. Gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he makes a first. Shooting for the away team, number zero. And that's good as he hits both shots. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Davis down low. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. He's automatic at the rim with that size and wingspan. Clark, we often note the offensive impact from Davis, but he also gets it done on the other end of the floor. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the defensive end, top shelf. Oh, they pick off the pass. Here we go. And he's going for the lob. And it's the Lakers on the break. Pushing it up now. That one drops for him. He's got 21. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. And the Lakers making a change here. Lewis has checked in. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Time called here. Los Angeles. Numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The visitors with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. And that's their third game of a long six-game trip. To the wing on the left. Four on the clock. Releases. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. The Lakers making a switch here. Coming into the floor for your Lakers. Number 40. Pass to Turner. And 
it's going to be a three-second call. And some of the best high flyers in the NBA. Some of this year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. And in dunk contest voting, he's third, a premier athlete in the NBA. Well, the fans want to see him fly, and us broadcasters, we want him in. I expect to see him compete during All-Star Weekend. Believe that. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll, of course, update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. Here's Lewis. Got a hand on it. There's a killer two-hand slam. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Lewis. No points yet. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long chain. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Sweet move. And the layup is good. 28 points for him. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. And another three for the Lakers. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Takes the three. Lakers hit again from deep. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Takes a 13-footer. It's deflected. They recover it. Here's Turner. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. Pass to LaFriend. One ten left in the third. Count it. He's got 15. By well, that time, he got the defense off balance with Los Angeles. They've had that kind of mixed start that we've come to expect. Nothing that would indicate they're in for any kind of special season. And, you know, perhaps with a roster move or two later on, they can start to break out of that back. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half, getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Shakes him. Nice move. The shot goes as the ref calls the blocking foul. And he's on his way to the line. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Long. That's his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for the away team. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Here's Lewis. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. Hits a three-pointer. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. The shake. Here's Clutch. 
knocks it down from distance. Clutch has got eight points. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime we have both of these teams fired up. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. An anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. And for the Bulls. Oh! oh wow. Get out Come the away! With authority! Mm. Oh, and he slams it down. Wow. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Well, I tell you what, guys, the kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Peterson. Six to shoot. Three-pointer off the mark. And here they come. And he lobs it up. The steal. Sinks the tray. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Launches a three. He drops it from range. He's got 36 points. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. And the Bulls lead by four. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at them. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Three-pointer. Pure from three-point range. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Takes a three. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Shot clock at five. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. He's been lethal, connecting again, making him nine for nine. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle and that they're offensive end. Step back on that one and let it fly. And this is just typical of him, always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Trains the triple. Are you serious? I mean, he made the defender look silly right there. Just an epic move. Hook loose. Inside, here's the friends. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bulls. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. You know, something else that catches my eye is the fact that they have blocked a bunch of shots. I mean, the block shot total, extremely impressive. The defensive intensity, top level. Counted from distance. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. There's the drive, and he jams it home with authority. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. 
Yes, indeed. Let's just call time it out, time ladder out. climb. Time called here. The Lakers oh. decide to talk it over. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what Los Angeles' coach was going over with his guys. Coach knows they're losing the three battle, and he told the team we need to limit their outside looks, force them to put it on the floor, and make them beat us off the dribble. Back to you, Brian. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Here's the break. And he lobs it up to the rim. Hammers the lob through. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Los Angeles has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. From downtown, gets the three ball to go. 32 points in the game for him. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing it, man. That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. And they pick up two. Incredible. Did you see his mobility? I mean, leans out into space and drains it. That's the clutch. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. And he ends up making the second, and that'll put him up by nine. Time running out for the Lakers. Off target from three-point range. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Oh, man. Oh, punch that one. Bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Number two. His third personal foul. First team foul. A minute 20 left in the fourth. Shoots from 14. He's off on that one. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the Bulls. I'd say the rim protection really turned things around in their favor. <laughs> yeah, their defensive rotations have been superb. They've been trying to challenge every shot. I love their effort. Looking at this year so far, this will make 22 wins for them. And they meet just twice, so taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. Count it. Good. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. And there's the drive. Pass to Clutch. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Here's Lewis. And so the road team gets the W in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching.